Here at Pollock, we create fabrics from the ground up. We are weavers. We have an intimate relationship with fibers, yarns, and woven construction. But we wanted to push ourselves in new directions. So we began a project to create a collection of fabrics in collaboration with other makers that use different mediums. A glass blower, a ceramicist, a jeweler who works with metal, a furniture maker who's a master at working with wood, and a fashion designer who specializes in knitting. So it was the Pollock Studio's job to get to the core of what they wanted without requiring them to become textile designers. We didn't want them to just push the repeat button on the computer. We wanted to help them really express their unique perspective on making, but through our medium. We worked with Klaus Bergel, a jeweler in New York and Massachusetts. He works with various metals to create brooches, rings, and objects that are sculptures in miniature. So then that circle comes down here. So this area was all me pretending to be you. <laughs> You were really involved in the choosing the weaves because mm. you wanted something that was real textural here. Right, that right. kind of simulates the roughness of right. the brooches. Here we have the stitches kind of directionally following the curve, which makes it even more three-dimensional depending on how the light hits it. It's got a lot of life and movement. It's not a quiet right. fabric. We also worked with Nathan Craven from Roswell, New Mexico, who creates ceramic artworks. He creates his own version of bricks, which he uses as building blocks for floors and walls that make up his installations. I fell in love with the shapes that he uses and the multitude of colors. So based on this, we did a flat woven jacquard. And with this fabric, it's so fun and happy that we decided to do exciting, bold colors. We also worked with Matthias Bliesnig, a furniture maker in Rhode Island. Now Matthias uses steam bending techniques to transform strips of wood into sinuous and kinetic forms. Like the grain on this one is, is kind of funky, but... Are you trying to break it? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you can, get a, you can get a pretty tight, you know, that's a pretty tight loop right there. There are so many different geometries happening within your pieces. There are the ribs, there is the swoop, and then there's the compound curves, and then there's the shadows that are created by all of these lines coming together. Here's the artwork that was sent to the mill with all the instructions, and Whoa. this is the fabric. Every direction you turn with the light too, it's like the different, yeah. different, different layers take over. Yeah. Right? Like the, the, very, the back kind of green takes over at a certain point, and then it turns and the ribs take over. The design team also collaborated with Catherine Gray, a glass artist in LA. The way that she started to develop her ideas was she blew glass, and this was one of the vases that she made with this project in mind. So the concept that we brainstormed about was simulating motifs on the front and the back and the overlap of color. And it just creates kind of a beautiful, like soft rain type pattern. Because of the sheerness, we felt like it really kind of simulated the mood of this piece. We worked with Liz Collins, a designer in Brooklyn who machine knits clothing and installations out of yarn and fabric. Her work often has an inherent chaos or disorder, yet at its core it is tightly structured and technically rigorous. It's very much a consuming kind of visual language for me that I think about all the time and I want to see it in all these different iterations. I think it's very appropriate for interiors and space. The actual woven fabric, which is the final fabric, is completely based on the artwork that you did here. Sometimes if you over-construct an interesting material, you don't get to really see it. So here we get it like you have it trapped wrapped. and stable, but then it gets to like come alive. And this is a raffia yarn, so when you move it, it has yeah. a sound to it. How designers choose to use it and go forward with it. Oh yeah, that's like the, too. the fourth element of collaboration. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's really now in their hands to do something really cool and special. The Maker's Collection is a collaboration that spanned two years, and it produced a group of fabulous fabrics. 
but more importantly, it pushed us creatively and opened our eyes to new ways of thinking about design.